Real quick, guys, I was outside. It's cold outside. I was working. I had this thought in my mind. I said, you know what? I'm going to come in here and do this real quick because this is a good example of the process and the type of test question that was running through my mind. So I wanted to run it past you real quick. So I thought I'd make a video of you. It's probably going to be about two minutes or less. Here's the case, guys. Here we have in the emergency room a 60-year-old that presents with pursed lip breathing. Now, this is easily a test question. 60-year-old presents with pursed lip breathing. What's the diagnosis? Well, why is the patient pursed lip breathing? That's the first thing you need to ask yourself, and that's what you need to understand is a key component of this question. Who pursed lip breathes? That's right. Your obstructive lung disease patients. So, we know that people pursed lip breathe to extend their exhalation time, to, to allow for more emptying of the alveoli because they struggle to get air out. So, you're talking about your obstructive lung diseases. This is not a patient that's presenting with a restrictive lung disease. This patient would present with a rapid respiratory rate and a shallow tidal volume. So real quick, we can eliminate any restrictive lung disease, which brings us to this. Is it pneumonia, cystic fibrosis, pulmonary fibrosis, or emphysema? Well, if we know our C-babes, which are our obstructive lung disease, we know that cystic fibrosis and emphysema are the only two probable answers here. We can mark out pneumonia. Why? because it's a restrictive lung disease. We can mark out pulmonary fibrosis. Why? Because it's a restrictive pulmonary disease, which leaves us with cystic fibrosis and emphysema. What's this patient's diagnosis? Understanding those two disease processes will bring you to this. Cystic fibrosis is a hereditary disease. It's one of the most common uh, it's actually the most prevalent hereditary pulmonary disease. Uh, it also only has a life expectancy now due to recent, recent findings. It only has a, a life expectancy of uh, years into their 30s. So about 37 years is all a cystic fibrosis patient is living now. Now, if you understand that, then you know most emphysematics usually don't start to develop emphysematic disease processes, uh, signs and symptoms until they're in their late 50s and 60s. So that right there breaks it down even further. The patient is 60 years old, which takes us to emphysema. A cystic fibrosis patient doesn't live into their 60s. So this patient presents with the, 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 the keystone sign of pursed lip breathing, which is consistent with air trapping, which at 60 years old could only be emphysema. Hey guys, go kill your finals.